What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be adding some ink to my Epson 1400. So I just decided I'd make a video out of it. What I'm going to be using is uh, the CISS ink. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get the ink and uh, the printer from Amazon. Now for screen printing, this is going to be the best uh, printer, the inkjet printer that you can buy. Um, you can do a lot of little mods to it that's going to save you a lot of money and you can print uh, up to a 13 by 19 inch uh, print. Um, this right here uh, was really inexpensive and this will probably add up to about, uh, I wanna say 10 regular uh, cartridges. Uh, so let me get right into it. So what I have here is my Epson 1400 printer and I have it hooked up to a CISS kit which is a continuous ink supply system and I have it over here. I have it on the side. Just have it in here just so the ink spills out and all that. Doesn't make a big old mess. Now today I'm only gonna be changing the black because that's really all I need. Uh, looks like I need to change you know, a bunch of different colors but right now I'm just changing the black. So all I'm gonna do here is just pop the top on the black. Put that to the side. And I'm just going to be adding my ink. Now, go ahead and throw my ink in there. As you can see, there's no ink in the black. So I'm just throwing it in there. You want to hit it to right before it hits that carburetor. You don't want to overfill it. Okay, so now you got that ink in there. Now this uh, CISS kit is going to save you a ton of money. If you print a lot of transfers, uh, you can easily save about a thousand bucks a year on ink. Uh, so right here, I have the cartridges. Now what you're going to want to do, which is very important, is as you can see here some of these lines they don't have uh they don't have ink running through them so the black ink is empty so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop this little top right here take that off and i'm gonna bleed some ink into it when you get your ciss kit it's gonna come in a little box like this and it should come with uh, you know, all the little accessories you need, uh, you know, the extra carb tips uh, if they get all inked up. Um, and then your little syringes if you need to add ink uh, this way with a little syringe. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is with the syringe without the tip on it, I'm going to put it into this little slot right here. And I'm going to pull the ink from the tank through the lines into the actual cartridge itself. So you know it's pulled through when you start getting ink into your syringe. See, I got ink right in my syringe there. So that's pretty much full. So this, all this air is the equivalent of that much ink bleeding into there. Now you don't need to do that every time. You're only going to do that when you, when you run out of ink and no more ink is being pulled. The gravity is going to pull the ink, uh, you know, naturally into your, into your, uh, cartridge. As long as you have ink in your tank. Now, sometimes, you know, a little mishap happens to where you're going to have to you know, pull that ink, bleed that ink into the lines, but for the most part, it'll do it itself. Um, now, another thing that this has, uh, these little cartridges uh, that come with the CISS kit, it has a reset. Um, a lot of times when you, you buy uh, OEM ink, what's gonna happen is it has a little chip and it's gonna tell you when the ink um, is empty. Even if the cartridge still has ink in it, it's only going to let you run a certain amount of runs because they want you to buy another ink cartridge. 
Now these right here have uh, a universal or unlimited uh, reset. So they're always gonna work. It might say that you know your ink is low, but then it's gonna reset. So you're never gonna have to really pay attention to when you get that uh, notification that your ink is low. Another thing here that I have is, uh, as you can see here, this cup with all this ink in it. Uh, let me see if I can get in right here. There's a little line, I don't know if you can see that here, a little tube, a line running out. And what that is, is that's gonna be, this unit, it, it self cleans. So all the ink, it starts, it starts cleaning the heads from the bottom and it starts pulling ink and all that ink goes into a tank. It goes into an actual built-in tank in here and there's a sensor. So when that tank fills up, it tells you this, the printer has uh, reached the end of its life. Uh, so what it's gonna want you to do is take it to a, a technician, uh, a certified Epson technician uh, to get it reset. And all they do is empty out the tank and charge you about 80 to 100 bucks. And then, you know, you're good to go again. They might have to reset the chip also, but I kind of got around that just to opening the side here. I don't know if I can get that that well. So it's missing the, the plate on the side and I just took the tank off and I just r ran the line to this uh, little cup here. And every time that it cleans, it just dumps out right into that cup. So I don't have that issue anymore. Again, guys, that's an Epson 1400, uh, the best printer for screen printing. Uh, as far as the uh, inkjet printers go, uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, like I said, for the CISS kit, the inks, and the actual printer itself. Uh, these are gonna be on sale from Amazon, so don't forget to check that out, and don't forget to like and subscribe.